All right, we're back with your questions and Cone Health's Chief Physician Executive, Dr. Bruce Swords, and we're answering questions from everyone as they're coming in by text and on Facebook. You can post them on Facebook. You can text them to the number that is on the bottom of your screen right there, 336-379-5775. So here's something we want to get out there. What does an actual test look like? A health worker will swab your nose and your throat similar to a flu test. It is then shipped off and you should expect results in about three to four days. All right, so let's talk about this because we did have a question that said, do we know just how accurate the coronavirus COVID-19 test really is? We do, it's extremely accurate. And that's because it is based on uh, the molecular makeup of the COVID-19 virus. So COVID-19, has a certain molecular makeup um, that, and the test is focused specifically on what is different about that coronavirus than all of its sibling viruses. And so we know that the test is very accurate. Someone is asking, um, I was exposed to someone who may be positive for the virus. Does this mean I should get tested now? It doesn't, it's a great question. and. <laughs> if um, and folks ought to have some concern and so an exposure doesn't mean that um, there's transmission even if it's a known exposure and so the key now is for that person to monitor signs and symptoms pay special attention to uh, their temperature and the upper respiratory symptoms that we discussed there are even some recommendations if folks have enough concern monitor your temperature twice a day. If the temperature gets above 100 degrees, um, seek one of the care models that we discussed before. Here's another question. Can someone pass on coronavirus to someone else after they get it and fully recover from it? We don't think so. Like I said earlier, we're learning a lot in the coronavirus world, but when someone recovers from coronavirus, we think the coronavirus is uh, eliminated from that person. The person who had it is immune. Um, and they're not going to transmit it um, okay. to anyone else. Should people be self-quarantining right now or is social distancing, like what we're doing right now, enough? Social distancing is enough. And self-quarantining um, might be a good idea for um, people who have had an exposure and are having symptoms. Those people should self-quarantine whether they seek testing or not. Um, social distancing becomes, it's important for all of us. It's really important for the folks who are more at risk of having a significant illness from coronavirus. Elderly, people with chronic conditions, lung, heart, diabetes. Someone asked, is there a reason for all this panic by people when so few people have coronavirus? Panic's not good. Um, a thoughtful, intentional approach to, our approach to coronavirus is the right idea. And so panic is just not a good idea. The, um, we ought to take it seriously. If you look at models from other countries or states, those countries might not have had the heads up that we have. We're not able to implement the social distancing that we are able to uh, implement in our city, county, and state. Um, so it's, there's reason to be very serious about this and there's not a reason to panic. Specifically about the test, this question just came in. How long does it take to get results after taking a coronavirus test? Yeah that the time is getting shorter and shorter. The collection takes minutes at the most, mm -hmm. maybe a minute. So the swab takes almost no time. We have to then ship it off. We ship it off to a local commercial lab um, and then it's in their hands. The actual test by the, from the time they put it on the machine is really about four hours, but there's a lot of processing and preparation. And there are commercial tests that are due to come out in the next two to three weeks that may shorten that a lot. So right now, 48 hours would be an expectation. 
uh, could extend to as long as 72 and might be as short as 24. And just to recap, not every doctor's office is equipped to be able to take a sample. That's right. And to send it off for testing. So uh, Cone Health is operating drive-through testing or sampling starting tomorrow, but they do need to have something from their doctor. That's and right. if they don't have something from their doctor because they don't have a primary doctor, again, what should they do? So I'd encourage those people to seek uh, some sort of virtual care, an electronic visit, uh, www.conehealth.com. You'll see a site for virtual visits, um, either e-visits, electronic visits, video visits, um, and telephonic visits are all available. Okay. And we will do our best to first screen you, most people don't need testing. And secondly, uh, get the right order for the patient. All right, there are still many questions left unanswered and we are getting new information by the hour. We're making it easy for you to find. All you have to do is test the word virus to 379-5775. Again, text for this information, do not call. Thank you so much. You're welcome.